Are Alaskan Malamutes prone to hip dysplasia? Hip dysplasia is a common orthopedic condition that affects many dog breeds. It is a genetic disorder where the hip joint does not develop properly, leading to various degrees of pain, inflammation, and mobility issues. One breed that is often associated with this condition is the Alaskan Malamute. But are they really prone to hip dysplasia? In this video, we will explore this topic in detail. To understand the likelihood of Alaskan Malamutes developing hip dysplasia, it is essential to delve into their genetic predisposition. While it is true that hip dysplasia can be hereditary, it does not mean that every dog of a particular breed will develop this condition. Genetics play a significant role in determining the susceptibility of a dog to hip dysplasia, but it is not the sole determinant. Other factors such as nutrition, exercise, weight management, and environmental conditions also contribute to the development of this condition. The Alaskan Malamute is a large and powerful breed that was originally bred for hauling heavy loads over long distances. Their strong, muscular build suggests that they are less prone to hip dysplasia compared to smaller and more delicate breeds. Unlike some breeds with a more extreme body structure, Alaskan Malamutes have a moderate hip joint conformation, which can be a positive factor in terms of reducing the risk of hip dysplasia. However, despite their strong physique, Alaskan Malamutes can still be susceptible to hip dysplasia. According to the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, OFA, a prominent authority on canine genetics and health issues, Alaskan Malamutes have a moderate incidence of hip dysplasia. They rank 70th out of 194 breeds in terms of the prevalence of this condition. This means that while they are not one of the most affected breeds, they are not entirely immune to hip dysplasia either. It is important to note that hip dysplasia is not solely a genetic issue. Environmental factors can also greatly impact its development. Proper nutrition during the puppy stage is crucial for healthy bone and joint development. Overfeeding, underfeeding, or an unbalanced diet can lead to improper growth and increase the risk of developing hip dysplasia. Providing a well-balanced diet with appropriate levels of protein, calcium, and other essential nutrients is essential for preventing this condition. Exercise is another factor that can affect the development of hip dysplasia. While it is crucial to provide regular exercise for Alaskan Malamutes, it is equally important to avoid excessive force on their joints during their growth stage. Puppies should not engage in high-impact activities such as jumping or running on hard surfaces, as these can increase the risk of hip dysplasia. Instead, controlled exercise on soft surfaces and activities that promote muscle strengthening can help reduce the chances of this condition. Another key aspect in preventing hip dysplasia is weight management. Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial for all dog breeds, but it holds particular significance for large and heavy breeds like the Alaskan Malamute. Excess weight puts extra strain on the joints and can accelerate wear and tear, leading to the development of hip dysplasia. Proper portion control and regular exercise are essential for keeping Alaskan Malamutes at a healthy weight and reducing the risk of this condition. In conclusion, while Alaskan Malamutes are not one of the most severely affected breeds when it comes to hip dysplasia, they are not entirely immune to this condition either. Their moderate incidence suggests that genetics alone do not determine the likelihood of a dog developing hip dysplasia. Factors such as nutrition, exercise, weight management, and environmental conditions also play significant roles. As responsible dog owners, it is our duty to provide Alaskan Malamutes with proper care and attention to minimize the risk of hip dysplasia and ensure a healthy and active life for our beloved furry friends.